Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, we do the John Stewart Green Lantern Challenge Battle 1 on Nightmare difficulty. Three challenge currency, one energy per fight. Only bronze characters are allowed on your team. And for the first time in the last three challenges, back to Elseworld Flash, the silver card with promotions comes back in the Nightmare Challenge. Going up against Regime Catwoman, New 52 Green Lantern, and Salmon Grundy. The bronze cards are level 30 Elite 3, and the silver is Elite 1. Let's give the match is 1,000 credits. Again. As you can see, Destro does have a promotion to Elite 5. So we'll be able to do a little more damage. No Destro because they have one bar. Salmon Grundy comes in early. And we're almost at two bars with Deathstroke. Cleaver spin block for 776. And we're going to go off an eye for an eye, and this should put Solomon Grundy at his from the grave. As I did beef up his super move as well. 9,223 damage. Cat Claws. And beating down Catwoman, who's at two and a half bars. Another Cat Claws for about 180 damage. The Green Lantern comes in, who's fresh. And we're going to go off the second eye for an eye, and Green Lantern is eliminated. And we'll get the flash in for whoever comes in next. Solomon Grundy comes back in. We're going to go off a speed zone, and Solomon Grundy is eliminated without a whole lot of problems. Catwoman comes in, Cat Dash for 1,023, and we punch out Catwoman for the victory in the first fight. 197 XP, as well as 460 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Insurgency Green Arrow, Insurgency Deathstroke, and Insurgency Lex Luthor, who has about 8,000 health. Let's give the match is 1,000 credits. So we have enough to one-shot Lex Luthor with a super move. Hopefully we can get Deathstroke and Green Arrow to kill themselves first. So the Flash is in. And Deathstroke comes in, which is good. He's able to build up the super move. Lex Luthor is in with one bar. And he's the only one I didn't upgrade, as he's the least damage of three main characters I use. Deathstroke is going to face off against himself. Sword Spin is blocked for about 500 damage. And the Flash comes back in. And Deathstroke's back in. Green Arrow comes in. And to avoid Power Drain, even though we took it anyways, we're going to get off a Sword Spin and get rid of Green Arrow, hopefully. Deathstroke comes back in again. We have not seen Lex Luthor yet. Full auto hits for about 1,300 damage. Green Arrow comes back in with another electric arrow. And Green Arrow's punched out. Lance Blast for about 400. We're going to get off a power drain of our own. Pretty academic from here. However, Lance Blast on Deathstroke, so we're going to have to use the Flash to get rid of Lex Luthor quickly. And we're going to get off a speed zone. And Lex Luthor is eliminated. Nine thousand five hundred sixty-six damage for the victory in the second fight. Two hundred XP, as well as one thousand five hundred credits. In the third matchup, we have Nightwing, Sinestro, and Regime Flash 
All of which gain a level to 31. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. We're at one bar with Nightwing as he gets off his power drain before I can use my sword spin. And we've almost got him whittled down, so we're probably going to save our energy. Sinestro comes in next, and we're going to beat him down, hoping that the Flash comes in next. That's one ball for 357. And Deathstroke is at two bars, so if Nightwing comes back in, we use the Flash to get rid of him. Nightwing does come back in. And we're going to go off a Lightning Kick. Which is blocked, and he barely hangs on. So the Silver Flash is in. We're going to get off an eye for an eye, and the Flash is eliminated. Leaving two badly damaged characters. Ooh, slash Nightwing, even though he gets a staff spin off. For the love of God, die already. We're going to get off a Sword Spin, and Sinestro is eliminated in the third fight. And 2 XP, as well as 540 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Cyborg Green Lantern and Regime Green Lantern. Still level 31 cards. Skip the matches 1,000 credits. Cyborg is getting cut up. Deathstroke's almost at two bars. I believe that's the Bronze Green Lantern as he's getting cut up really good. Turbine Smash for 469. We're going to get him down on health so we can hopefully go for a double kill. And there's the Silver Green Lantern. We're going to go off an eye for an eye, and Regime Green Lantern is eliminated. Well, Turbine Smash is blocked for 367. And now we're going to go for the Sword Spin, which is blocked. However, it is enough to get rid of Green Lantern, and we're going to get off a Sonic Disruptor and... Don't mess with the guy with the eye patch, as Cyborg is eliminated in the fourth fight, only using Deathstroke. 204 XP, as well as 580 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Lex Luthor, Insurgency Green Arrow, and Regime Sinestro, gaining a level of 32. Skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. We're going to get the Flash in to try to get Lex Luthor out as quick as we can. And Lex Luthor almost gets knocked out. We're at two bars. Electric Arrow is going to connect. And we're going to go off a full auto and get rid of Green Arrow. We don't want to do a power drain. Gravity pull block for a 1084. Well, Lex Luthor is knocked out. And we're getting off his speed zone before Sinestro can do much. And he will be eliminated quickly in the fifth fight. Nine thousand five hundred and sixty-six damage for the victory in the fifth fight. Two hundred and seven XP, as well as six hundred and twenty credits. In the sixth matchup, in the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Regime Solomon Grundy, Nightwing, and Deathstroke. 
all of which are still level 32. However, the silver, the bronze cards gain a promotion. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. We're going to get the flash in again, because he's capable of doing damage a lot quicker than death throw. Cleaver spins for 1134. And Deathstro comes in. We're at two bars with the Flash. Point blank for about 900 damage. And we're getting off a speed zone before the Flash gets knocked out. And Deathstroke is eliminated. Salmon Grundy comes back in. Cleaver spins for 477. And Salmon Grundy's at his board on a Monday. We're going to kick him out. Only having to deal with Nightwing. And power drain for about 280. Right, two bars. We're going to get off a full auto and get rid of Nightwing. And we get 660 credits as Facebook is getting spammed too much. I wish people would leave me alone during videos. In the seventh matchup, we have Sinestro, Lex Luthor, and Regime Bane gaining a level of 33. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. So nice to getting pummeled. Down from above for 1537. And Bane comes in early. So we're actually going to get Lex Luthor in the power drain. We don't want to deal with too many rage slams. We're going to leave Lex Luthor in for a second. Total a rage slam. There it is. Block for 907. Deathstroke is back in. And we're getting off an eye for an eye, and Regime Bane is eliminated. And Lex Luthor with a Lance Blast for about 260. And another Lance Blast for about 390. We're getting off a Sonic Power to try to get rid of Lex Luthor. We almost knock him out. Snaster comes back in. And Fear Blast for about 1900 damage. Stuff him above 961 as that moves hard to avoid. And we're going to go off a Lightning Kick, and Lex Luthor is eliminated in the seventh fight. 211 XP. As well as 700 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Green Lantern, Cyborg, and the Joker, all of which are still level 33. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Again. We're going to get the Flash in, who's capable of doing a lot of damage quicker to prevent power regeneration. Turbine Smash block for 645. And we're already at one bar with the flashes. Dampening Field is not as bad as some of what I've seen, especially in the fifth and fourth fight. Bang is going to be blocked for 967. And we're going to get the flash out to preserve him. And we're going to get Lex Luthor in. And we're going to get off a Lance Blast to slow down the bangs. That's a block for about 275. We're going to get the flash back in. This is almost at three bars. And we're going to go off the speed zone, and the Joker should be eliminated. And 
And that does kill the Flash, however the damage was done on the Joker. We're gonna leave Lex Luthor in for a second so he can do a little bit of damage to Cyborg. And let Deathstroke have time to build his bar up in peace. Cyborg's at three bars, but he's not doing anything. Lex Luthor gets the two bars, we can get rid of somebody in a gravity pull. And Rocket Barrage on Lex Luthor hits for about 2,000 damage. Thermite Smash for 1170. And we're going to go for Gravity Pull, and Green Lantern is eliminated. Sonic Disruptor for 166, and we're going to go off the full auto. And Cyborg is knocked out for the victory in the 8th fight. And 13 XP, as well as 740 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have New 52 Flash, Nightwing, and Wonder Woman gaining a level to 34. Let's give the match is 10,000 credits. Again, we're gonna get the Flash in first. And we're actually hoping that Wonder Woman comes in before Nightwing because I really don't like dealing with power today. Lightning Kick does connect for about 1,200 damage. Nightwing does come in first. We're going to get Deathstroke in to match that. And we're going to get off a Sword Spin early before he gets Power Drain. Ground Sparks for about 270. Wonder Woman is in. We're going to get off a Speed Zone. And Wonder Woman should be eliminated or at critical life. Was enough to get rid of her, but two punches did knock her out. So the Flash is starting to get down on health. And we do punch out the Flash. Ground starts for about 620. And we're about to get off a gravity pull as he is knocked down. So I don't know if it'll go off. No, it does not. Ground sparks for 250. We're gonna get off a sword spin. And Nightwing is knocked out. 216 XP. As well as 780 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against the Flash, Insurgency Green Arrow, and Nightfall Bay. Still level 34. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. The Flash starts pummeling away on Deathstroke. We're almost at two bars. We're going to get the Flash in early. Lightning Kick does connect for about 1,400 damage. And we're going to go for a Lightning Kick to try to get rid of somebody early. And he manages to block. Nightfall Bane comes in. We're going to get in Deathstroke, who's at two bars. We're almost at three. And we're going to go off an eye for an eye, and hopefully Nightfall Bane is eliminated. Yes, he is. The Flash comes back in. Flash is knocked out. Green Arrow comes in. We're at two bars. We're going to go off a full auto. It appears to be blocked. Yes, it is. Electric Arrow for about 280. We're going to get off a Gravity Pull, and that should be enough to get rid of Green Arrow. Yes, it is. For the victory in the tank fight. 218 XP. As well as 820 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Insurgency Deathstroke, Regime Catwoman, and Black Adam. All of which are level 35. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Again. Enough 
sucks at two and a half bars. Three bars now. We're hoping that Destro tags out. Sword Spin is blocked for about 500 damage. And Cat Claws has got the wrong person in. And Cat Claws is not blocked for about 600 damage. And we're gonna off the Lightning Kick to get rid of Catwoman. Black Adam does show up. Electric Burst is blocked for about 900 damage. We're going to get off an eye for an eye, and Black Adam will either be eliminated or at critical life. That is enough to get rid of him. Full Auto almost takes out Deathstroke. But we're going to get off a Gravity Pull, and Deathstroke should be eliminated. For about 1,780 damage. 662 XP. As well as 860 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against New 52 Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, and Regime Doomsday, who has over 10,000 life. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. So we have Challenge Regeneration, and Doomsday is the one we really have to watch out for, as he has a lot of life. We're actually going to get the Flash in and try to get rid of Green Lantern and Harley Quinn quickly, so we don't have to deal with Earthshake. Turbine Smash for 1056. Harley Quinn does come in next, and that's good. Cartwheel does connect, but the Flash is taking too much damage, so we need to get him out. And another cartwheel is I'm getting terrible at blocking, apparently. And that's not what you want against Gold Doomsday. And another cartwheel, as the opponent is level 1 happy. So Doomsday is in. Ultimate liftoff for 837. This is actually the Silver Doomsday, so he won't gain health. Except by regeneration. Almost does enough to get rid of Doomsday. We're going to try to get off a gravity pull and get rid of him. Not quite enough to get rid of him, though. This regeneration does seem fairly slow. So we're going to get off a Sonic Pound on Green Lantern. It is enough to knock him out. Harley Quinn comes back in. We're going to get off a Lightning Kick. And it does connect for almost 1,600 damage. However, another cartwheel. And Doomsday comes in with a supernova, which is unblockable. And we're getting off a gravity pull. Ultimate liftoff. However, the block breaker does not go through as I tagged out. And Doomsday is knocked out. We're going to get off a sword spin, and hopefully Harley Quinn is eliminated. Yes, it is. For the victory in the final fight. So even playing sloppy, we survived there. 669 XP. As well as 3,400 credits. So the Jon Stewart Green Lantern Challenge Battle 1 is completed. And if you like this video, please give it a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends, add it as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood shout-out. And the second fight is up next. Have a wonderful day, kids.